We're gonna be covering in the next two minutes a snapshot on what DHCP is, the importance of DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Essentially its main purpose is to allocate computers an IP address on a network. Not just computers, really any device on a network needs an IP address. Without this IP address, the computer is unable to communicate with the internet, with other computers, with a printer, with a server. It can't communicate with other devices unless it has a IP address assigned to it. Now, if you're on a Windows computer or you're on a Mac or you're on a phone, a smartphone, for example, well, there's an area on those computers and on those devices where you can actually go and see the the network configuration settings. And you can actually assign an IP address to that device. So if another computer on a network wants to talk to that computer, that is how it will communicate with it, via that IP address. That is how that computer is identified on a network. Now there are two types of IP addresses that can be assigned onto a computer. One is a static IP and the other is what's called a dynamic IP. A static IP is an IP address that will never change. Now the other one is a dynamic IP address. This is an IP address that will change. So where is that computer gonna get its IP address from? Well, it's gonna get it from a DHCP server. The whole point of a DHCP server is to actually have a pool of IP addresses available, and then when a computer goes out onto the network and says, hey, network, I need an IP address. I don't have an IP address assigned to me. That is then the point of the DHCP server. The DHCP server will see that call, will see a computer saying, I need an IP address, and will say, here you go, here is an IP address for you. That's really what the DHCP server is gonna be doing. It's gonna be saying to that computer, here is your IP address, and then you're good to go. That computer can now go and access devices on your network. Now, if you wanna learn more, if you wanna learn how to configure and make your own DHCP server from scratch, I've got a full length training course on how to use it, the purpose, the setup, the configuration. So check out in the description below. But that's it, thank you so much for spending the time. I release videos every single week on all things tech. I know you'll find it helpful. We'll talk to you next time.